All right, welcome to Crystal's Creations. This is Crystal. Like off. We are going to do something different today. Probably something that I started a long time ago. Um, kind of how my videos started. Um, <laughs> a long time ago, should I say. Um, I started with painting flower pots, but they didn't go anywhere. But today, I'm just going to go ahead and do a video on painting pots again. Um, I'm not giving up on cards. I will still continue doing cards and stuff. But today, my daughter said, Mom, you need to get those pots done for me, please. And I'm like, okay, she knows how to do these pots, too. And I'm like, I don't know why she won't help me. But that's okay. I can do it. I can do it all. Plus, I get to make 500 graduation cards, too, for her senior class. And I'm like, ah, sure. Just, just trying to get a bunch of birthday cards done for the month of May as well. And I'm like, yeah, sure, I got this. <laughs> so... I might as well. I've been watching a lot of you do videos of your gardens and stuff like that. So I wanted to show you guys that um, you can paint flower pots. So I've got these really good paint brushes. I had to get some new ones. These are golden Taclon. Um, they have golden Taclon hairs on them. So that's what's good for painting flower pots. And you can also paint your um, terracotta pots for outside too with um, acrylic ceramic coat paint. And when you put your two or three coats of paint, always make sure you waterproof them too really good so that they last a long time. But I always say, you know, don't put, I mean, I like to decorate my flower pots and I like to, to, um, you know, I like to make them look pretty because it makes the flowers stand out more and it makes the flowers pop. It makes your plants pop and everything else. And these pots can actually go outside, especially if they're waterproof. But the only thing is they're not exactly what I call hail proof. <laughs> Usually if it's going to hail, I do kind of bring them back a little bit towards the house or cover them up if you know it's going to hail. Um, uh, I can get this open, but I did get a couple new paints because I wasn't too sure how old my paints are in the other room, and I wanted to start with some fresh navy blue and tan because that is a color of my daughter's band instructor's favorite colors are, and I'm trying to get these opened. This is probably going to be a very short video, so I probably won't take too long. So, just trying to get this open. So, and then we're going to decorate it after we paint it. But we'll probably do the decorating part tomorrow. So, I'll be doing painting two pots and decorating two pots. And... I have my little painting easel thing here to put the paints in. I'm going to set these aside for a minute. Get those out of the way. Then I'll put my blue. Looks like somebody didn't rinse a color out of there. Oh, sorry, guys. Okay. That looks better. Okay, so I'm trying to think. Am I put navy blue on the border or do I want to put navy blue on the big part? So we're going to put clarinets around the border. No. This one's going to have saxophones around the border because this one is navy blue and tan. The other one over there is going to be navy blue and gold because that's the legacy school colors. So I think 
but it's also going to have other instruments of what they taught. So let me just show y'all. So we're going to put a coat of the navy blue on. Let me move this light out of the way so I can move my paint over. So I'm going to start at the top. I generally just kind of go in one direction. So this is definitely going to take more than one coat of navy blue. Your darker colors don't take as many coats as your lighter colors. paint I'm using is um, from Joann's. I got it at Joann Fabrics the other day. It's called uh, Delta Delta Creative Ceramic Coat. And I'm using navy blue because <laughs> that is their school colors is navy blue is one of is actually navy blue and gold but her band instructor marching band and band instructor likes navy blue and tan because that's what he wore was navy blue and tan khakis so those were his favorite colors because <laughs> i actually emailed him several weeks ago and I just kind of nonchalantly asked him what are your favorite colors by some chance while I have you in this email thread. He said oh that's easy my favorite colors are navy blue and tan. I was like oh okay. So, but I used to, I sold quite a few flower pots quite a few years ago. And one of the flower pots I did seven years ago popped up on my Facebook page from seven years ago. It was a black pot with um, a bright green dragon on it. I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> I had stenciled, so I can stencil. I stencil flower pots, too. And then I also do um, where I uh, do paper and pictures. I do wedding pictures. I've done wedding flower pots where I put um, wedding photos on uh, paper, printer paper. And I do different shapes of them on uh the printer on word or they'll put like a frame around it and just cut it out guess I should have put my apron on in case it's paint splattered I wasn't thinking of that Oops, of course. Oh, oh well, it's blue and I'm wearing all blue too. <laughs> What's the matter, right? <laughs> I 
daughter has her last high school concert today. But she can only bring four of us to the concert today. But it's only going to be a 20 minute concert. All the navy blue on, as you can see. I got it all on. So now I'm gonna get the rest of my navy blue paint that I have in my little painter thing in my little two ounce thing of the what's left of it because I don't like to waste. brush in my hot soapy dish soap water and I'll take my chamois over here that I usually use for my stamps oh sorry Definitely. but I gotta get that paint out because if I don't it dries and I'll never be able to get it out okay got that out my paintbrush out so I can use it for the next color, which is tan, or trail tan. use hot water and dish soap to rinse out my paint brushes. Pretty good. Then we're going to take our tan here, shake it a little bit, put it one over on our paint, little paint easel, or what do you call that thing? <laughs> okay. And then we're going to do border, the top border. Without trying to get it onto the navy blue. <laughs> and of course I did. It's okay. It's always paint over the navy blue on the second coat. It'll cover the tan up. I just put it over my hand or over my arm. There we go. Go very slowly. I'm not perfect. And I've made some uh, football pots, flower pots, but I had where I used to tell people that, you know, flower pots are not just for flowers anymore. You can actually put your popcorn in there. You can put your potato chips in there. flowers and stuff like that but you can put whatever and then the smaller pots 
I made for one of my um, college professors. She ordered um, four small ones from me one year. And uh, she used them for pen holders on, their, on the desks, which I thought was pretty cool. She used them for pen and pencil holders and used them for a desk organizer, too. Tan in. Of course, I moved my inks up on my desk. <laughs> so, very carefully, lefty lift, kind of get where I missed. that spot and then we'll do the bottom of the flower pot too here in a second Okay, now I'll bring this little guy. Very carefully set that over there. Try not to knock that on the floor. <laughs> and then this um, this uh, bottom of the pot where it the water drains into will also get painted. Um, and then I usually put my signature on the bottom too, which I probably should have done first, but oh well. Then I just hang on to the tags, or the little pegs that are inside the pot here. said that is it for painting well I still have to put a second coat and stuff like that on but and everything else and I have to look for instruments I think I'm gonna probably find them to color instead of finding instruments that are already colored so I think I'm gonna try and make them is black or silver and gold as possible with my alcohol markers and stuff like that that I have. So there you have it. So that is kind of how you paint a flower pot. And then later on you will see me Come back and do the decorations and stuff like that. So um, I will put a pause on this video and we'll go from there. So thank you for liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Uh-oh, something just fell. <laughs> something just fell. 
Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Just, just my skin and cut plug, so that looks pretty good. And we'll just have to put a second coat on. Ah, that looks okay. So anyways, thank you all for watching, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye for now.